Good evening, this is Prophet Charles Hollowell from Hope for the Harvest Ministries. Tonight I want to share with you a little bit about New Age, the influence that it's having on America, and the new Oprah religion that seems to be taking many by storm. We read in Luke 17 verses 20 and 21, The kingdom of God cannot be detected by visible signs. You won't be able to say it is here or it's over there. For the kingdom of God is already among you. God's kingdom has no boundaries. He is the same in Kenya as he is in Pakistan, as he is in Mexico, as he is in America or any other part of the world. The kingdom of God begins with the work of the Holy Spirit in building a relationship with those who profess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Religious institutions and programs are not the evidence of the progress of God's kingdom. We see it in what God is doing in the lives of his people. Today, now more than ever, the freedom of religion is being used for political purposes. Religion is a subject of controversy and debate between the opinions of men who only want to benefit themselves. Religion is not the evidence or the assurance of salvation. A changed heart that's built upon Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior is your assurance. Many seek protection in religious institutions only to find themselves caught up in a form of rich craft by consulting them as holistic healers and those who can provide peace and assurance for their futures. Many are caught up in the white magic that brings the earth, nature, and every living thing into oneness. We are seeing the rebirth of ancient mystery religions that date back to the Old Testament times. The God of fertility is mingling in religion to bring the earth and its members to worship and identify with the present difficulties of a shared life experience. They deceive by sharing a common power with a promise to overcome suffering by purification as enlightened ones. Celebrity channeling is popular and innocent in the eyes of many as it uses meditation techniques and crystals to form a trance-like state to communicate with the dead in order to obtain wisdom. Psychics prey on this attention so that they can present themselves contemporary as a community that seeks a scientific demonstration of the truth. However, the truth is found in the very existence of an invisible world of psychic perception demonstrated by clairvoyance. There are some 120 mystery religions popping up in America under such names as the Lord's New Church, Divine Word, Doctrine of Truth, Family of Abraham, Christ Ministry, and Faith of God. It's amazing that those who would not accept Jesus Christ and his teachings would still prostitute his name in order to deceive and gain attention for their own agendas. Web search results reveal what supply and demand in America is seeking after. If you type in the word riches, witches, you will find 100, 360,000 results. Type in paganism, 821,000. Neo-Nazi, 4,530,000. Oprah religion, 1,420,000. Type in Wicca, 2,080,000. Type in the word atheist, 1,700,000. Type in New Age, 88,800,000 results. And the numbers are climbing. 
The demand is real, is evidenced by the numbers of websites that are heavily funded. There is a form of godliness that continues to grow in popularity by celebrity endorsements who follow a psychological mind training based on universal spiritual themes to attain inner peace through the practice of forgiveness. No need for a savior. You can do it on your own. Revelations 21.8 But cowards, unbelievers, the corrupt, murderers, the immoral, those who practice witchcraft, idol worshippers, and all liars, their fate is in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. For this is the second death. This is not a time to play around and think that books like Harry Potter or something so innocent that it's not going to harm our children or the video games that have become so graphic in sexual and violence that you wouldn't send your child to see a movie yet they're playing the games in your house and you're unaware of it. Everything that we watch supports the rating systems. And it's that demand that creates more and more of these type of programs that talk about vampires and witchcraft and medians and, and all the good that they're doing, showing the way of the dead to gain closure. These are all an abomination unto God. It's time to turn the TV off. Take away the games. And seek the face of God. Thank you.